Lebanon Valley and Reading to face Albright for the 91st time in the rivalry. And the Dutchmen start the game with a trick play. Jake Ziegler takes the kickoff, passes across field to Pete Panici, and he rumbles 57 yards to start the game. LBC couldn't score on that, but on their next possession, Ben Giles finishes off a six-play drive with this seven-yard touchdown to go up 7-0. Albright answers back two series later, this long 42-yard field goal by Jordan Laguidache, and they took the lead midway through the second quarter on Joson Holmes' 10-yard run, going up 10-7 at the half. Third quarter action now after an LVC stop. Their only turnover of the game coming on this punt. Confusion on who has the return, and Albright falls on the loose ball. That would set up an eight-yard run for Zach Roth to put the Lions up 17-7. But a Dutchman comeback began sparked by this 35-yard Sean Fackety field goal, and LVC started to roll. Start of the fourth quarter, the defense made a huge stop, holding Groff on third and one as Wes Rockwell ties him up. And then on fourth and one, Andrew Hurst and Clay Chaney make the stop to get the ball back. The very next play was this, a 67-yard bomb from Colt Zarilla to Tim Paserno, part of his 137-yard receiving day. And three plays later, that set this up. Ben Giles gets free on the broken play and just keeps it in bounds to tie the game at 17-all. After LBC forced an Albright punt, they get the ball back, and they only needed one play. Albright loses track of Giles. Zarilla finds him wide open, and he is gone. Gets a huge block by Tim Paserno, and he's gone 80 yards to take the lead, 24-17. Still plenty of time for Albright to score. They drive all the way to the LVC 9 with under a minute left, but two big defensive stops. First, Ryan Melly busting up a sure touchdown, and then Clay Chaney on fourth down jumps at TJ Luddy's pass, and that would end the game. Victory formation time. LVC beats Albright for the second straight year, 24-17.